All right, welcome back to another episode of Turn Up or Burn Up. Stay tuned. We have more Jojo Siwa drama. This is The Truth Is. Take it away. You want to hear today, please hit the like button, share with your friends, and comment. I didn't think I was going to speak again on the Jojo jo- 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 Siwa absurdity um, drama that people keep stirring up, but I thought I would bring a separate perspective I haven't talked about yet when it comes to the song Karma and whose version is actually better from a musician's standpoint i know some so-called musicians have already done their perspective on it but i want to give you a, a real breakdown of who and why theirs is actually better make sure to hit that like button at least thank you so much all right everybody in the house great so and the only reason i'm making this because i keep seeing more and more and more videos come out on jojo sia from other creators i'm just like dang they just won't let it just die so i'm going to pick up back on it again but this will be tasteful this will not be bashing anybody. I don't really know Brit, Brit Smith like that. So she's a lovely girl. Just a Siwa. Always really have, really have loved her. The brand she puts on. Even her music in the past I can get with because it was positive, it was uplifting. And that's what I connected to. Even somebody who's, um, somebody who's not even in that kid age bracket. I like the message. And anybody can use, everybody can use that message. So give it up for JoJo. But now she's a bad girl. All right. And I like that. Anyway, love the music video. This is obviously going to be the unpo- unpopular opinion. But I don't care. I say what, what I really think and, and feel. So love the music video, by the way. Okay? Loved it. Anyway. As far as JoJo's go. Now. I want to say honestly. Between the production and the vocals. Let's start with Brit and Timberland. Always love Timberland. Always loved him. But here's the thing. Timmy did his thing. And there was a lot going on in that production. Though Britney has a nice, lovely voice. When it came to the production of the track... The voice to me kind of got lost in the track. Like the track was outshining the voice because the thing is, there is a difference between being able to use your voice for acrobatics and runs and things and all the extras and do it well, even with an uninteresting sounding tone of voice. And then that leads me into talking about the tone of somebody's voice. You know what I'm saying? Let's take somebody like Ava Max, for example. Ava Max has one of those, 
You've heard her before. D by some of my voices. She can sing up, she can sing down as powerful. But as far as the far as the tone of her voice, there's nothing interesting about her tone. You've heard it before. You know, but nothing stands out about her tone. But she can sing you up and down. Okay? Because it's powerful. It's just that the tone is just not you've heard it before, and it's something interesting about it. Camila Cabello. Nothing really that interesting about her tone either. There's a little, there's a little something there. Nothing really to her voice, as far as the tone of it, that makes you want to pay attention. But because she uses her voice so well, and then the acrobatics, the runs, and all of that, um, is what gives her some kind of identity. But without all the acrobatics. She would not be a singer that um, your ears will automatically draw to based on the tone of her voice. You know, you know what I'm saying? Do you have somebody like a Brandy? You have somebody like a Jojo Siwa's voice who grabs your ears' attention automatically because there is something different and special enough about it that it, it grabs your attention and so with the jojo version they reworked it they kind of like stripped it back in a way um and made it and made it their own and i love the production of both but with the jojo production her voice fits on the track much better. And I know some of you might say she's not singing all the way like this AI on it or whatever, but the point is, it definitely is her voice tone on this track. Okay? We don't really know how it was done in the studio and who was coaching her in the studio at the time versus us uh, seeing that clip online of her trying to sing, but her techniques were not correct, so that's why she failed at doing it the way it, it, she could have done it and knocked it up the part. But that's neither here or near the, here nor there. Okay, JoJo Siwa's voice fits better on a, a track like this that punches out. You know what I'm saying? That punches out that you like, like it does. It's like, it's almost like the track marries each other and her voice would do just as well on the Rick Smith version of it too. Just because of the way her voice punches kind of at you. The way the track punches at you. You get what I'm saying? Or uh, with a mix like this, I, either or what, what needs to happen with Rick Nicole version of the track, they could turn Rick Nicole's voice up a little bit more so that it stands out from the production. So she has such a light voice, just like they do with Britney Spears' voice. Her voice actually has um, an interesting tone to it that makes you want to listen to Britney Spears. You know it's her when you hear it. Grabs attention. You know what I'm saying? Even though she can't do as much with it, or she never got a chance to show what she could do with it because of the way the music industry made her do that one kind of trick pony vocal styling um her voice is interesting enough without all the acrobatics and that's what jojo has that brit nicole brit smith sorry about that does not have okay and for that reason jojo wins on this song Okay. Eventually, when it comes to like the, whose vocals are live, JoJo can get there. She just needs to go back to training with somebody who really can take her voice and um and teach her and train her and train her until she can do all the other things with it. But she can at least 
stay on a chest level singing voice live and be just fine. But her techniques and breath support are going to need to improve when it comes to actually singing it live while the studio magic. Okay. So, let me know what you think in the comment section at the hearing is. You may not agree. You may still like the Brit Nicole version. I mean, Brit Nicole, the Brit Smith version <laughs> of it. But just give me a breakdown. Um, not just saying I like the, instead of just saying I like the other version better, whatever. I'll give you a breakdown of why. Like, um... musically why vocally all that i'll give you a, i'll bring you a breakdown of why jojo is my um pig for this and why this song really fits her voice it would also fit it molly Cyrus's voice because molly Cyrus has one of those interesting vocal tones as well that catches your attention you get what i'm saying Brittany Nicole doesn't have that in her tone. But she has a lovely voice and worth a listen. For this particular song, not so much. I think it's turned her up a little bit more than the, than the track. The track is like eating her, basically. It, 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 like, it demands attention. <clears throat> so, yeah. So if you like what you heard today, please hit the like button, share with your friends, and comment. If you are not into electronic dance music, I want to thank you for coming in today. Give him a hand. <laughs> now, Sheen Flea. <laughs> for the electronic dance music ravers, festival goers, EDM enthusiasts, while well, this is for you. Go ahead, guess yes, follow the social medias, but what I really want you to focus on, and that's very important, is going to be the website. The email list I want you to get on. So get three free unreleased EDM bangers by going to my website, which is the simplest way. Peyton30.com. That's Peyton30.com. There'll be a button on the front screen. Get straight to the point. For my only for my diehard EDM fans only. Dubstep, Raver, you know, EDM. So put your email address and your phone number in and you're good to go. Well, I want to thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you on the next episode of The Truth Is. Bye-bye.